I'm Sir TapTap, and if you're you've been around the internet for a while, you might remember Dogecoin, and you might even remind remember Doge Miner One, which I think came out the same year as Dogecoin, which was 2013. Um, it's kind of funny. This meme is actually seen a huge resurgence thanks to Doge lore on Reddit and stuff. And um, basically, this is an idle game based on a meme currency, which was based on a real cryptocurrency. Um, the premise, the original premise of Dogecoin was that um, you'd be like, haha, epic meme, my friend, and you would tip them some Dogecoin to be like, hey, you made me laugh. Um, despite being a meme, um, it is the number 32 cryptocurrency by market cap. It is actually held its value you know it's less than one cent but there's a lot of them <laughs> and when cryptocurrency that's that's all that counts right um yeah as far as cryptocurrencies go i mean it's it's one of the big ones i guess you could say it's in the top 50 right but cryptocurrency was ridiculous the more important thing is this is a video game and we're gonna play it it's an idle game and um you mine dogecoin not real dogecoin you don't get real money um, but, um, to the moon, you need a space rocket, go to the moon. It costs 50,000 doge coins. So cryptocurrency was this whole big fad. Um, I mean, it still is around and everything. Oh God. That comic sans though. You can use doge coin to hire friendly helpers. So, um, it's an idle game. It plays like an idle game. You can click and if you get enough money, you can buy little dudes. That mine for you. Look at that. Your income is plays Doge coins per second. So cryptocurrency was a big meme thing. Um, it kind of had its peak in 2017 when a bunch of people paid in, and then it completely crashed at the start of the next year. It's like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. But for whatever reason, the um, the developer RKN underscore Dev on Twitter. Um, they made a new Doge Miner. Um, the do the mine the game was actually kind of fun. It was a very clicky cookie clicker kind of thing, and um, oh, just, just coins. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess they made an enhanced version. They're trying to put it on Steam. I guess there's a little thing you can't. It's just off screen here because I got a. It's a weird web game that I can't just do like a full screen of exactly. At least not without it looking like crap. So I um I cropped it here. And um, it, it tells you that you can get some, you can get a Steam key by um, being a patron, and there's it's going to be on Steam. Most importantly, I guess. So <laughs> that'll be interesting to see. I wonder how it'll be on Steam. One one trick to these games, by the way, just to teach how to be a bastard. Oh, we got giant Dogecoin. The music is so quiet, by the way. Some objects may increase income. A bonus coin temporarily increases income by 60 seconds. Uh, is the music off? Oh! The music... Okay, the music is off totally by default. I usually play this game on mute anyway, so I didn't know that. I've, this is the first time I've heard the music. Hey, stronger pickaxe! So, it's like... If you've played an idle game, you know vaguely how this one works, right? Um, you buy upgrades, and then the upgrades allow you to buy further upgrades, which, you know... It's, it's all just... It's upgrades all the way down, right? There is cute backgrounds and stuff. It's got some humor. It's got some <laughs> questionably dated humor at this point. Bronze Doge Fortune! Did Did you see what we just got? We, we, we got a fedora. Hooray. So, <laughs> very yay. Very V rich. So there's a lot. <laughs> I'm on. I'm honestly surprised to see how much of the 2013 humor is intact in empty parchment. So, I'm sure this is giga cringe to some people, and it kind of is to me, but it's kind of fascinating to go back and see, wow, somebody's making a Doge Miner game in, uh, it's still being actively developed, 2020, as originally. And some of the humor, there's, there's some just decent humor in here. Like, look, look at our upgrades here. We can get a mining shibe. We can get Doge Kennels. Wow, very efficiency. Entire kennels come to mine Dogecoin. A slave kittens. Kittens to post cute videos on the internet for Dogecoin. And a space rocket, that's our goal. Collar of stone fortune. Artifact imbued with mysterious power. So these all these statistics. Uh, where do I see my... Where do I see my statistics? Oh, here. 
And some of the stats are just like made up garbage. What was, oh, this, this is news doge reporting live from what appears to be a doge coin mining operation. There's a lot of wow in the air. I'm trying to find a Shibe for an interview. Does anyone remember Shibe? Shibe was a thing before Doge, and it was like... I remember specifically being part a... Ooh, that's an upgrade. Um, specifically being part of a, a subreddit for Shibe, and they hated Doge. It was like meme wars, and they're like, no, our meme is better, your meme is too simplistic. And over lies on, you know... Like, the original Shibe was, like, mostly just Comic Sans and posting, like, stupid stuff. I don't... I don't think you could even find the original Shibe memes at this point. They're, I'm sure they're buried by Doge. Book of Memes! This book would have come in handy if it wasn't for 2006. Plus four helper DPS. I find it kind of funny for this game to be making fun of 2006 memes when it's a 2013 meme. But I'll allow it. Oh, that hi, Parker. I figured I've been looking at lots of... Um, Flash game stuff, that's right, Parker. And, uh, heck, why did- I don't even remember why I checked out Dogecoin Miner, but I've been actually been poking around with it. And, um, we're gonna buy that space rocket and go to the moon, and then I'm gonna show you my main save. This just in, local Kit financed- oh, Doge Diamonds, yes. Local Kit financed news stations are- bashing your quest to go to the moon, calling it a foolish pursuit. The current consensus, this is clearly fake news. Cat is our rival. Worn old coin, looks like it's been tossed too many times. Minus five sadness. Some of these stats, I don't know if they are even real. It's one of those games where it has like made up stats and you can't tell if they do real things or not. Also, is this actually Comic Sans, or is this something a little fancier? It looks a little different than Comic Sans, actually. I don't know if I support bootleg Comic Sans. I, that seems unethical to me. Doesn't look like anything to you. <laughs> so there are some more modern references. There are some, there's some just general humor. It doesn't, not everything has to be references, right? Let's get some more mining shibes. And let's get a, um, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's Cat! Get out of here, Cat. Cat thief. You caught a thieving cat miner. As punishment, you enslave its kittens. Good game. Received one slave kittens. Hooray. More axes. Supply the kennels with more axes. Now they have more axes. High quality pussycat. Upgrade kitten webcam to HD. All right, we can get a search doge with a, a doge diamond, a do dogement if you prefer. Oh, there's another one. Mini wow, mini coin. <laughs> oh boy. Found a new upgrade, more, more kittens. Actually, that's pretty expensive though. I think we'll probably get to our, um, we'll be getting our rocket soon. I won't play this too long. I won't waste your time too long, but I just, I wanted to show you, I'll show you a couple of the worlds we can get to. I'll show you my other save file and some of the other crap you can do. It's an, it ultimately, it's a pretty well done one, but it is an idle game. It's free! I guess that, if that wasn't obvious, it's just on a website, and there's, there's some ads on there. But I mean, it, they're not invasive ads, it doesn't require you to watch video ads or anything. Paint job. Repaint the kennels to a friendlier color. Um... Yeah, I, progression wise, I mean, it has its slow points as all idle games do. It's definitely gotten slow a little bit and it, it's one of those ones where you have to loop back to the beginning to get faster and you know, uh, a lot of, honestly, most idle games are like that now, right? Where you gotta reset and prestige and when you prestige, you get extra bonuses. Oh crap, I missed a news doge report. I'm so sorry. There's a lot going on, especially cause I know how to play the game now. So I'm going a little bit faster than I probably was at the beginning. Also, trick for these kind of games, um, there's a, ooh, what's it called, what's it called? There's a thing you can get that's, um, what's it called? Mouse bind, bind, wheel. There's a utility, crap, what is it? No, it's, 
There's, there's some utilities. I have one install. It's, I don't have it installed on this computer. But um, there's a thing you can, like, if you have a mouse wheel, especially one like mine, that um, it, um, it just frees, it rolls freely. If you have it, like, it can lock in place or it can roll freely. So you can do, like, a billion clicks per second if you set the, uh, the mouse wheel action to click. So look for something like that if you really want to cheat at one of these games. It, uh, it can help. Rumors about a large Dogecoin mining operation are spreading to many parts of the world. So th there's there's lore. There's Doge lore, <laughs> if you will, uh, I suppose. Um, the one thing I don't like about this game that I've noticed, um, it is incredibly difficult to tell the actual efficiency of, what should I upgrade, guys? Should I upgrade this or this? So this is about three times the price, but it's more than three times the thing, so, you know. But then, at what point does this... Because, you know, now it's ten times more expensive. Well, actually, only five times more expensive. Now it's about ten times more expensive. And it's only, you know, five times more effective. So now I know, but... Unless you're really, really good at math, um, finding that exact cutoff point may be fairly difficult. Fortune of Derp! A mysterious artifact imbued with magical power. Thank you, game. Yes. Alright, so let's go to the moon, shall we? We've dilly-dalled on this filthy planet. I I'm tired of this planet. Let's, um... I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Let's go to the moon. Parker's flipping out. That's good. By the way, yes, it is pronounced Doge. It was The, the term was actually used first in Homestar Runner. Did you know that? What it is, my doge. Space rocket. Press to initiate moon launch. Oh my god. It's Franklin Dogeno Roosevelt. It's... <laughs> it's, um... Kennel D. It's, um... Bark Obama. Alright, that's enough President Dog memes. References. Puns, that's the word I meant. Just because it's a joke doesn't mean it's a meme. I'm sorry, there's, there's so many memes on screen. How, what, 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 it melts your brain. What else am I supposed to say? Such achievement. Wow, you landed on the moon! Set up a moon base. By the way, the reason the moon is a thing, um, cryptocurrency is all about like... It's basically a... Oh, no, oh my god. You guys, TikTok was trying to run a um, Dogecoin scam, by the way. Parker. What is your problem? My cat is very excited about something. It's always concerning. Um, TikTok users are trying to get people to pump um, Bitcoin. It's just like pumping and dumping a stock, really. Um, you you encourage people, oh, guys, buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin. Let's make this price go way up. And then we'll all be super rich. And what actually happens is that people who already have Dogecoin can benefit from new rubes that buy in. And then after they sell the Bitcoin, you know, the coins are worth less. So now everybody that bought in now get something less valuable than they paid for, and they're screwed over. And that's... It's a zero-sum game, ultimately. That's the problem with cryptocurrency, but... Yeah. Well, that's a problem with cryptocurrency. There's a lot of problems with cryptocurrency. I I could talk your ears off about it, but that's a f relatively serious topic. Um, check out Buttcoin. Um, Reddit r slash Buttcoin. Very serious, which is, you know, it's about the amount of seriousness that cryptocurrency deserves. Um... Your faint ticking sound is probably nothing. Plus 25 loot find, plus 19% wow, plus 50 mystery bonus. All right, I'm gonna get my first moon base and then I'll show you my other, my, my real save file. Your mystery box is evolving. Parker, Parker loves his new mouse. Perhaps a little too much, honestly. Box is detected ad blocking. Oh, I have, uh, oh. I have an exception for this game in my ad blocker, but I'm in an incognito window to use my different save. So that's why it doesn't open. I'll show you, I can open one once we get open. That is, that is the only, um, if you block ads, that is the only limitation I have encountered so far. I did turn ads back on after that, but I haven't, it, it doesn't like erase your save file as far as I know or anything like that. All right, let's get a moon base. 
Moon bonus unlocked. The moon bonus coin. 60% income for 90 seconds. Wow. So the bonus coin just appears on screen sometimes. Can we get any upgrades? All right. Oh! Excavator assistance at a doge excavator to assist the moon base. All right, so each planet, you kind of see how this works. Each planet, you go to different planets, Forge of unstoppable signals. You can't stop the signal. Like I said, references, they'd be flowing. Um, so let's doom this save to the ether because this, this doge and all his entire life, the last 15 minutes of his life are going to be erased because this is an incognito window and I'm going to close it. Sorry, Doge. So, this is my my real save. Um, I haven't reached Jupiter yet, and I'm not sure I can. Let's go, let's see. Let's go to Mars! Yes, spoilers, you, you go to Mars. You're watching a video, you're gonna get spoilers, it's fine. Um, Jupiter rocket. Yeah, we can't go to Jupiter! Heck yeah, okay, good. Clouds of Jupiter are a natural formation of gas-like Doge coins. Mining the clouds might be easier than mining solid matter. Good. We can get a cloud base. The news doge reporting reporting live from Jupiter. Yes, that's right, Jupiter. And boy, is it wow. What, what else was he going to say? A recent study of the clouds from Jupiter has indicated hidden doge treasures. Mining the cloud. <coughs> Excuse me. Clouds will be costly in this atmosphere. Delicious clouds. Cloud cache is a magical container that may contain special items. Fortune of vengeance. Plus 98 angriness. You can get a flying... Oh, look at these beautiful options. You get a flying doggo. Doge airship. Super shine. Oh, the cloud base is very expensive. Today we'll be covering motivational doggos. As a wise doge once said... You don't have to wow to start, but you have to start to be wow. Heavy stuff. Also, a wow a day keeps the doctor away. Wow. F Fortune of the D. It's made out of solid gold. And there's the Doge star. Tarj. Tardogius? Wow. I'm never going to be able to hear the word wow in the same way after this video. The Doge Intelligence Agency, or the DIA for short, has received strong evidence of kitten labor by cat. A warrant for cat's arrest is in effect. Be on the lookout for... Who would use cats? Who would use kitten labor? That's that's offensive. Uh, let's buy a Tarj Dojus. Where did it go? Oh. So there's a, there's a different display mode you can do to group the helpers. I did that just because buying buying them in bulk in the old method is a little bit annoying. It does it visually it looks a little bit more tame, but um, yeah. So the big thing in this game mode, like I said, it's all about doing thus big boot. Surprisingly good for mining. Plus it doubles as a hat. That is a big boot. That is in fact. Where's the music by the way? Oh, that's weird. I had to like re -un double secret reverse mute it. There we go. All right. Fortune of Harmony. So, hello there. My name is Bert Dojolin, DIA. So, halfway through Mars, once you get the um, once you get the uh, b -b -b Back to the Future Doge thing, you get um. You get this call, and it's basically the prestige thing, right? So we're gonna go do that. It brings me the great pleasure that you called. We have a mission of much most importance. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is this. You must go back in time and stop Hitler. Many wow. Many wow indeed. Before you accept, I'm required to tell you the sacrifices you must make, as well as the rewards of the mission. Going back in time and altering history will have major implications for you. Can't go into too much detail, but rest assured you'll compensate you greatly. We have a special machine that takes your fortunes and makes a super fortune protected from time travel. Also, we think Doge diamonds are safe to bring. Current Doge my coins. We offer three Doge diamonds for your pickaxes, five Doge diamonds. For those helpers, you get a DIA badge that will give you plus 158 stats. 
I'm just standing if you say no. Let me remind you, get some badges, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, we're gonna go back and kill Kittler. 50% wow, luck, or loot find. The confusing thing, what? I don't remember what the goddamn stats are because they're named, like, Terminal 7. Um, wow improves stat on new loot. Luck, general good fortune. Loot find, increased chance of finding loot. So they're all good. I don't know which one to pick, and I guess it doesn't matter too much. They're all good. So first... I'm just gonna start with loot find because I mean how do you beat loot? You don't. Though more wow means better stats on loot. We're gonna go we're gonna stick with loot find first. Yes. We're going back to the past. Wow. Much excite. <laughs> Unskippable cutscene, thanks, game. <gasps> Kittler! I knew he was real. I can't believe this has. We must stop Douge! How do we stop Douge? Cut Uber Alice? Yeah! If it fits, we sit. I always fits. There's Kittler! Only Cat now! Attack or go home? Make Kate great again. Let's kill him. Gotta go fast! No, please, only keep them around! Rest in pieces, Kittler. Mission passed! Can't believe Kittler is fucking dead. Super Fortune, the legendary Super Fortune, and plus, wow, oh, that's all. That's like all of our bonus effects, more or less, that we had. <laughs> plus 159 percent higher ground. Very good. That's from one of the many bonuses that I had before. Greatly includes. So this is yeah. These are these are protected. These don't get erased, and you get one Doge diamonds. Back to Earth. Mission successful. You're back in the present. Your time machine is stolen on the way back. You're also missing all pickaxes. However, with the super fortune in the future, finding better gear will be easy peasy. Auto pickup loot has been unlocked. Oh, thank God, because that, that can be a little bit... Ow. Ow. That, that hurts to look at, actually. So, like I said, we start over because it's... An, it's an idle game, and that's kind of just how it always works, right? Much ow! That's adorable. And no, hold on, I want to read. Equip the paw. Ow. <laughs> ow. Also, I had a gun. Um, I had a gun thing. Oof. And um, it would say pew 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 instead of much wow. <laughs> that's adorable, though. Okay, I'll stop torturing him now. I'm sorry. So, as you can see, this is drastically faster than it was just a bit ago. We already have slave kittens. We already have a bunch of mining chimes. See, this, this, as you can see, is why I turned off the, um, the feature to, um, you have to manually place the things. Get cat! See the one slave kitten. This is news, though. reporting live. Oh, we already read that one. So... I guess at this point you pretty much get what the whole game is about. You get what the, you get how the whole prestige system works. Um, you kind of can see which planets you can go to, but they're locked again. And um, but as you can see, we'll be able to get. In fact, you know, I'm going to get to the moon just to prove how fast it'll be. And it won't take too much longer. We'll stop the video after we get to the moon again. Cause hey, it's back to the moon, so we got to go back to the moon. Oh good, it auto-equips the new pickaxes too, that's perfect. Alright, back to the moon! See, so feel free to compare the times different differential there. More Dogecoin in the news today. Apparently it was recently discovered that if you submerge yourself entirely in Dogecoins, your body appears to become younger. Wow! More at 11? Alright, no cutscene this time, you just go straight to the moon. A super achievement. Wow, you landed on the moon. Set up a moon base to begin mining operations. Huzzah. It's 
look at look at how fast we go through. So that that's a very satisfying thing. Oh, mystery box. Let's let me show you the mystery box. We we forgot to use that last time, didn't we? The mystery box is evolving. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, I don't have ad. I have ad blocking enabled on this PC. Sorry about that Dogecoin. I haven't used. I, I haven't played it on this PC yet, so I didn't have the domain unblocked. So let's. Oh. Crap. <laughs> it does. It, it activated the timer. So oh well. Did that for nothing. But whatever. It gives you. It, it just gives you a fortune. It is all it does. It's a free fortune because later on in the game, like see, we we get a super item almost every time we break the rock, right? Um, those get very sparse later on. I was actually feeling very, the, um, the prestige came to perfect time because I was feeling very like, oh, the game really slowed down. I can't really do anything. And then it's like, oh, you can prestige. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's why it's feeling slow. But, um, yeah, once, when the game is slow, the mystery box will still give you items every 20 minutes. So that's very nice. And it doesn't play like a video ad or anything. You just have to not have an ad blocker on. Which I thought I didn't, but like I said, I haven't played on this PC before. Um, oh, and there's cloud saves, obviously, because I managed to transfer my save. You can um, you can sign in with Google. Um, I'm not sure if there's other options because I I just signed in with Google and that's that worked. Um, so much wow! Remember to very subscribe and uh, much like. Leave many comment. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.